Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Todd Duplantis, Director of HCC TV Communications. We're live this afternoon to answer your questions about attending Houston Community College. We have staff on hand to answer questions through the chat section or live during this webcast. Now, currently we're enrolling for classes for summer and fall semesters. You can go to hccs.edu slash now anytime to enroll. Today, however, we're focusing on a program that we offer that pays for your tuition through using grants. The website to visit is hccs.edu slash fast hyphen track. Maybe you've lost a job to COVID, had your hour work hours cut, or maybe you're needing to pick up a few courses to transfer to another university. Well, perhaps you're a parent of a graduating high school student. We can answer all your questions today. HCC has the answers and programs for you, whether they are short-term certificates, which we'll talk about today, and get you on the right track in the fast track. Joining me now is Michael Webster, Associate Vice Chancellor of Workforce Instruction, and Alberto Urbina, Dean of Material Science and Smart Manufacturing. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having Thanks me. For having. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. Mike, I want to start with you. Um, we've talked about this before, but with this year's winter storm, one thing we all learned is we don't have enough high, there's a very high demand and we don't have enough skilled workers, meaning plumbers, air conditioning and heating technicians, all types of home repair uh, techs. Uh, maybe you can tell us this fast track training program has a number of selections that may fit that bill. Yeah, Todd, that's right. We've got uh, training available across the board in construction. Uh, I mean, you look out your window, you're going to see a crane somewhere being uh, put up or, or already up that uh, has jobs attached to it. So anything in electrical, plumbing, piping, you name it, there's jobs in construction. And uh, hey, HCC, we've got free training available for those. And far as the training, we mentioned this is called fast track. That literally means it's a type of program to get you in, get your tuition paid for through grants, but get you out pretty quickly. How quickly are we talking here, Mike? You know, most of these programs are six to eight weeks. Uh, they, they don't take a lot of time for you to finish. Uh, and like you said, they're, they're free. We've got grants available for folks and they're located across several of our uh, locations. So it's a great opportunity for folks that are looking to change careers and get into a job quickly. And Alberto, I want to bring you in on this as well. Um, besides the skilled positions we mentioned before, there are a number of others that are available. Uh, welders, machinists, industrial maintenance, all types of things. Maybe you can tell us about the different types of positions that people can view when they go to this fast track training website. Absolutely, Todd. Uh, we currently have a fast track welding program. We have a CNT operator and CNT uh, programmer program as well. That's part of the fast track. And we also have a pipe fitting program. And those programs, like Dr. Webster said, can be completed within one to two months. And uh, the folks who complete those programs would be able to qualify for entry level positions as welders, as machinists, as fabricators, as helpers, uh, just to name a few. So there's quite a bit of demand out there uh, for skilled labor because of all of the commercial and residential construction, but also all of the manufacturing that's still taking place. And Alberto, we're talking, these are jobs that pay pretty well. What are the starting salaries for these type of positions, roughly? And what can you look at making after you have uh, got your, your first certification, but maybe a couple of years in the industry? So according to the Texas Workforce Commission, uh, the range for these would be from 16 to $20 an hour. That is just straight 40 hours. That wouldn't include any overtime. Uh, overtime would be more. And then after some experience and some additional certifications, uh, these journey workers could range anywhere from 24 to $30 an hour. And we're talking with, uh, with uh, the, the minimal certifications to get out in the job market. Of course, these are stackable where you could come back and get higher certifications, but you're talking just with one certification, they can go out and start making upwards of 20 bucks an hour just to start? Yes, that's correct. Mike, you know, um, Alberto mentioned, you know, uh, hours working and a lot of these are based on working regular hours. But one thing we learned with this winter storm, Yuri, that there's no such thing as far as skilled workers working regular hours when the need and the demand is out there. The earning potential is really exponential, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, that storm definitely catalyst uh, the whole 
area around construction. But in addition to that, I mean, we've got uh, pathways in healthcare uh, that, that you start out in a career or start out in a job and then you can launch into a full career after that. Um, you know, the, the, the common mantra that I've always said is you get trained, you get a job, you get more training, you get a better job. So this is a jump start to that career for folks. So if somebody has a question, if maybe they have uh, something about uh, a student needing to, uh, or maybe they have a high schooler that's graduating from high school, or maybe someone's looking to get back into the job market, they have some training in a different industry. Are these programs open to anyone? Are they focused on returning workers or can a high school, graduating high school student get involved in fast track and get started with this? Yeah, uh, almost every job on our fast track site uh, has uh, the potential for a high school student uh, coming out of graduation to get into. Uh, probably the only one that doesn't is truck driving, which requires a, a higher level age to, to get into. But, you know, the demand for all of the jobs on our fast track site is high and uh, anybody can qualify for the most part. And, and like I said, it's just a great opportunity for students to get involved. Alberto, I, I know there's also bilingual options for uh, some of these programs. Maybe you can tell us about some of the, some of the offerings for bilingual. Absolutely. Uh, we currently offer bilingual training in welding and, and pipe uh, fabrication. We are looking into the possibility in the very near future to also do a bilingual training uh, for machinists. So those are the three current programs that we would have. Uh, we have a very flexible schedule too. Uh, we offer daytime courses, evening courses, and weekend courses in the bilingual format. So uh, we have a pretty flexible schedule that hopefully the community uh, can sign up for classes in. I know, uh, speaking of flexible schedules, I know HCC had some courses we were offering with a late night schedule for uh, courses like welding and things like that. Um, what a lot of folks realize, especially if you're working a daytime job, you necessarily don't have classes or time to take classes during the day. So we do offer uh, courses that are more or less based or tailored for our, our students and workers. Yes, sir, we do. Um, so starting in the fall semester, we are going to be bringing uh, the late night courses for welding and taking a look at also adding to that the sheet metal, the pipe fitting and some other uh, programs to the, uh, to the late night schedule, which would be from 10 at night to one in the morning. Uh, we offered that uh, prior to COVID and it was very popular. Uh, we had a lot of good turnout and speaking to students, uh, they really enjoyed that format because uh, they were getting off of the second or the third shift. So they were able to still take college courses, even though their work schedule uh, you know, didn't allow them to take the normal uh, course schedule at the college. Mike, we're getting some questions that are coming in regarding financial aid. And the good thing about the fast track training program is the tuition is paid for out of grants. Um, when a student applies for fast track training, are they also going to need, we'll talk more about this later in the show, but are they also going to need to apply for the FAFSA, which is the general um, uh, financial aid application as well? Yeah, and I would just suggest any student that's interested in attending college in general, uh, whether it's the fast track or any of our programs, Go ahead and fill out the FAFSA because the FAFSA will allow you to get access to tons of dollars out there. I mean, coming out of COVID, there's so much money coming into colleges. We've got, for the most part, if you fill out that FAFSA, you're going to find dollars to pay for your college without having to take out a loan. Uh, so in addition to the fast track, you know, we've got grants available for that, but definitely fill out the FAFSA. You definitely want to fill out the FAFSA. And if you've been watching the news over the past uh, couple of uh, days, you may have noticed that HCC has been awarded $59 million through the HERF program, which is more or less emergency funding for our students. The catch is you have to be enrolled for the fall. So if you want to get in the fast track training program, we can do that. If you want to have your college paid for, we've got ways of doing that. As Dr. Webster mentioned, fill out the FAFSA form, enroll today. Okay, just a reminder, the website to visit today is hccs.edu slash fast hyphen track to get started explore the programs. There are many of them. We'll be talking about all of them, but most importantly, enroll today. Stay tuned. When we return, we'll be speaking with someone you may recognize, one of our community partners. We'll be back right after this.
HCC has given me many opportunities, such as being able to participate in Rice University for the Young Hollis Leadership Program. That helped me meet a lot of people who was in my situation, since it's about high school students who don't have the resources to go to college. So I feel like that was kind of my situation, and I could help them with my experience, which is not so far away from theirs. Thanks to HCC, I've gained the courage to work for what I want and to overcome my own fears. I was accepted at Northeastern Early College High School, where after four years, I graduated with not only my high school diploma, but also my associates in science. And shortly thereafter, I was hired at Houston Community College part-time. While I was working at HCC, I was also studying computer science at the University of Houston. Just after graduating from the University of Houston, I was hired as pros as a software engineer. And thanks to the knowledge and experience that I gained while working at HCC and going to school at U of H, I'm able to work in the career that I love. And we are back. Thanks for joining us here today. My name is Todd Duplantis. I'm the director of HCC TV Communications. And we're talking about HCC's Fast Track Training Program, answering your questions about Houston Community College. You want to enroll today? We're here to answer your questions. HCC and Gallery Furniture share a commitment to their communities and have partnered to provide a place embedded in the community for people to learn new skills for their next opportunity. Gallery's Mattress Mac joins HCC's Associate Vice Chancellor of Workforce Instruction, Dr. Michael Webster, to talk about work Texas Trade School. Mac, welcome to the show this afternoon. Hi, glad to be on HCC TV. That's a catchy name. I love it. We love to have you with us. Mac, um, first off, tell us what is the Work Texas Trade School at Gallery Furniture? You know, many years ago, I went to a Mike Bell conference. He was a speaker. Of course, he's famous for his TV show, Dirty Jobs. We talked about how much money you can make working with your hands, whether it's in plumbing, electrical work, construction work. And I started an idea in my head, and I partnered with my friend Mike Feinberg to start Work Texas, where we're teaching people uh, uh, the skilled trades. And we're only doing it through the tremendous help of HCC, but we're teaching uh, uh, right now at Gallery French Work Texas welding, electrical, general construction, auto tech, and landscaping. It's all free for these students, thanks to HCC. And it's a great program. We've had several classes graduating, and we're you know, I believe in life, if you have a pulse, you have a purpose helping people find their purpose in life and get a great job through the wonderful help of everybody at HCC. And Mac, I know people are going, wait a second, um, a school at Gallery Furniture? It's true. They actually come to your site. You have a location there where they can learn the trades. Um, how, large is the, how large is the school location itself at Gallery Furniture? And where is it at your north side location? It's at the North Freeway store, exactly uh, down the North Freeway between Tibble and Parker. We've dedicated about 20,000 square feet to the uh, trade school at Work Texas, so there's plenty of place for them to work and learn, and we've got some great teachers out here, great assistants at HCC, and really making a difference in people's lives. When the when we had our first graduation, it was like they were graduating with a PhD from one of the major universities. The families were there. Everybody was so proud, and uh, great to see people go out and like like was said on the program earlier, uh, get a trade, then learn more and get a better trade. So HCC is helping these people get a leg up and we're providing them with, with a, uh, a hand up, uh, not a hand down. You know, Mac, we were talking with Dr. Webster earlier, but this recent storm we had earlier this year, the hard freeze, it really highlighted that we really need, we don't have enough skilled workers who can repair our pipes, get our electricity turned back on, make sure the water's running. We need more people out there like that. This kind of answers that question or answers that need. It really does. In fact, uh, yesterday, the people were out in Channel 2 with a uh, customer uh, who had a got his house flooded because the pipe burst, didn't have any uh, water, running water in his house for a week, didn't have any hot water in his well, house for a month. Because of that, he got an infection on his foot, flesh-eating disease, and had to amputate his entire leg. So, you know, these things go on and on. We need skilled laborers in Houston. They can get the job done, make money, respond to type of crisis. And as you and I both know, and Mike knows, we have plenty of hurricanes, ice storms, and 
different things in Houston that uh, require skilled labor. And on top of that, the housing market is terribly short right now. We have an undersupply, under inventory housing market. So lots of room for people to go out there and get a great paying job and change their life forever. Not only change their life, but change the trajectory of generations of their family to come. Dr. Mike Webster, our Associate Vice Chancellor of Workforce Instruction, is joining us as well this afternoon. Mike, these jobs are in high demand. Do the students have jobs already when they're graduating from Max Place? Yeah, you know, we partnered with several employers to hire them up uh, rather quickly. You know, one of the, the groups that's came out is the uh, Texas Association of Builders, specifically the home builders. Uh, and, you know, they're led by Perry Homes and some others. So on the residential side, we're, we're, we're keyed in. Uh, in addition to that, you know, we've got a, a, our back backyard is Patrick Camp, so they, they need those pipe fitters and welders uh, just, I mean, as soon as we can graduate them. So, yeah, they're, they're coming out of there with jobs. We're talking about HCC's Fast Track Training Program. The website to visit today is hccs.edu slash fast hyphen track. You can explore the programs. And Mike, we're still getting a lot of questions about financial aid for this. Once again, these programs are short-term training, but there is aid available to pay for all the tuition for these. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. We are finding any way we can to, to help a student not have to pay for college. And there's ton, tons of money right now flowing through uh, from the feds, from local, from the, from the state. We know that there's opportunities for students to get to school, get trained, and not have to pay for it. And that's our goal is to get students to work. Uh, you know, there's a lot of jobs lost during the pandemic. Uh, there's an opportunity here. Uh, everybody's getting back to work. So, so we want to train them up and get them out there. And, and like I said, there's, there's, Money available, we'll find it for you. And Mike, I've got a question coming in um, about the different programs that are on the Fast Track Training website. This one says, are there any Fast Track Training opportunities for retired educators? Maybe someone who wants to enter back into the job market um, at a, a bit of an older age, a little longer in the tooth. Are there programs available as well? Yeah, you know, these, these programs aren't limited to any one audience. Uh, anybody that wants to uh, retool themselves, uh, retired folks, it's, it's what, whatever they bring to the table that they, they think they can do. You know, one of the jobs that's on the list uh, at the, the, on the fast track side is medical billing, billing and coding. Uh, I mean, that's a great job. There's, there's plenty of demand, you know, because of the healthcare industry here in town. Uh, folks can get into that job pretty quickly. Um, they get paid rather handsomely um, and it, it's it's great for uh, retired folks. Uh, I, I would mention that one at the top of mind. Mac, we've, uh, Mike was talking about uh, the fact that a lot of people may have lost their job during COVID or had their hours cut and they're barely able to survive and they really need to get into some new job opportunities. The work, uh, the work Texas trade school at Gallery Furniture, you're there to, uh, to really upskill them so you can increase your earning potential, whether you're a, a high school student going in the job market or someone who's changing careers. That's exactly right. Work Texas is all about having people become plumbers and welders and electrical uh, technicians and those type of things, auto mechanics. So we're partnering with the great people at HCC to help people skill up, get a better job. And then who knows, maybe four or five years from now, they have their own electrical company coming out for earth. But we are working very closely with HCC and the companies uh, that, like Trio Electric that are right there hiring these graduates. So uh, as uh, Dr. Mike mentioned earlier, the tuition is real simple. Three, three, three. So free, free, free tuition and skill up and have a better life. Who could ask for anything more? Now is the time to turn your life around by coming to Work Texas, by going to ACC, learning a new skill, changing your life, giving purpose and meaning to your life. Because to me, the greatest joy in life is the joy of work and ACC and Work Texas will help you find a meaningful job that will change your life forever. And the tuition is free, free, free. It is free tuition, folks. And just to once again clarify that, Mike, uh, we've got grants in a lot of scholarships that can pay for this tuition. And if you go to the Fast Track training website, I imagine you have to qualify for the program. But the tuition, yes, is free, as Mac mentioned. Yeah, there's a form you fill out. It's a short form and somebody will get back with you. They'll know exactly. Uh, they'll find out what your situation is and, and figure out what uh, you, you would qualify for. Uh, you know, we, we, even at the, the gallery location, we, we've got several different funding sources that we're using to get students through the program. And uh, our goal is to get them trained uh, and, and do it for free, free, free. 
That's Mac, right. Mike, Mac, how are you? Put you on the, put you on the TV. One of the right. things, I want, I want to give a shout out to HCC because all HCC is concerned with is getting people skilled up, educated up, and out there in the workforce making money. So if you want to make more money, talk to the great people at HCC, talk to people at Work Texas about how they can help skill you up with a better trade and change your life forever. Mattress Mac, Mac and Vale, the owner of Gallery Furniture. We appreciate you being here with us this afternoon. Mike Webster, stick around. We'll be back with you. When we come back, we're going to talk about a new scholarship opportunity for our HCC students. Yes, it's free, free, free. You'll hear more about it after this. That's good. Thanks. I made it. My biggest fan was my father. He instilled in me strength and drive for me to be able to do what I need to do for my education. I got a diversity award scholarship with the study abroad group and for me to be able to study abroad for um, Africa. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm a single mom with three kids. I want to set an example for my children to show them that even at my age, they can go to college too. I'm getting my associates in automotive technology, and it goes from oil changes and brakes all the way to engine repair. Also, HCC offers uh, job fairs, and I've gotten a job for AutoNation Chevy from the job fair. Thanks to HCC, I found opportunities that I couldn't find anywhere else. Welcome back to our webcast. I'm Todd Duplantis with Houston Community College, and we're here today talking about enrolling in HCC, but enrolling and having your tuition paid for. We've got a number of courses and programs available through our Fast Track Training Program. The website to visit is hccs.edu slash fast hyphen track. Of course, uh, many of the courses here have grants that pay for it all of, if, some if not all of your tuition. We also have scholarships, loans, payment plans, and financial aid to assist you in taking the burden off your so shoulder. We're very excited about one of our new partnerships with PepsiCo, a PepsiCo scholarship. Joining me is HCC Associate Vice Chancellor of Workforce Instruction, Michael Webster, and also Erica Castro, Academic Advisor and Academic Coach for the PepsiCo scholarship. Welcome to you both. Erica, tell us, what is this scholarship all about? Well, I'm glad to be here today. So the PepsiCo has decided to partnership with HCC to provide students this opportunity to pay for not, not mostly all of their tuition for specific, for specific programs. So this is our ideally targeting um, Black, African-American, Hispanic, or Latino descent populations to be able to build that um, that sense of wanting to pursue their education. So making sure that there's no educational inequalities for these students. And so once again, tell us a bit of the, the qualifications for this scholarship. So some of the qualifications is one to apply, it's probably the easiest step, making sure that you have completed your FAFSA or TASFA applications, um, make sure for students who are our current students have a 2.5 GPA and also making sure our students maintain that 2.5 GPA. Of course, be um, of African and Black or Hispanic or Latino descent. And also, um, again, just making sure you apply for these programs and making sure you apply for an approved program under these lists. While there are multiple scholarships and grants and loans for all of our programs here at HCC, for this scholarship specifically, we are targeting certain programs. That's right. So one thing to keep in mind with our fast track training program, and I'm bringing Dr. Webster into the conversation. If you go to the website, hccs.edu slash fast hyphen track, you're going to see a number of programs. And Dr. Webster, anyone can apply for these programs and we'll find the money to help them pay for them, correct? That's right. And in addition to the fast track, we've got the PepsiCo uh, scholarship and this one targets uh, transportation. So both uh, automotive and truck driving, uh, manufacturing, and then uh, our logistics and then IT. So any of our IT programs. And, and let me just say that, you know, the, the commercial that played right before this uh, had Ms. Broussard in there. And I was with Ms. Broussard when she received 
three different scholarships. And I'm going to tell you right now, all you got to do is get out there and apply for the scholarship. Chances are you're going to, you'll be surprised how uh, easy it is to get one, in particular the PepsiCo scholarship. And keep in mind, we've got PepsiCo scholarship. We've got a foundation that can uh, source many scholarships for you to apply for. But that doesn't count the grants that many people are eligible for. And then we also uh, released some news uh, last week that HCC was awarded $59 million uh, from her funding, which is something that students can use to pay for the amount of college that's left that's not covered by the grants and scholarship. So right now, really, Mike, is the best time to go to college because uh, at HCC, it looks like you're going to get it paid for. Yeah, and you know, just to give you a little anecdote, my nephew texted me the other day and said, thank you for telling me to fill out the FAFSA. He's taking classes out at HCCA leave. And, he, and once he did that, he qualified for the HERF fund. So definitely opportunity there for, for folks to get paid uh, for their tuition and fees. Yeah, it certainly is. You mentioned two disciplines uh, in the fast track training. I know these are very hot right now because logistics and also truck driving. We this summer across the United States are facing gas shortages, not because we can't get enough, produce enough gas, but we can't get the gas to the gas station because truck drivers have retired. Um, that's a hot profession. And somebody's got to uh, manage these truck drivers. Logistic, two things that really are upward careers right now. Yeah, they're huge. I mean, the truck drivers in our truck driving program right now, they barely get out the door from graduating after the program. They've already got sign-on bonuses. They're going straight to work. It's, it's a huge occupation for, for the region. But in addition to that, those trucks break down and we need to get them fixed. And so diesel mechanics is another one that PepsiCo Foundation Scholarship will pay for. Erica, um, you're an academic advisor at HCC uh, for people may be wondering, well, you know, um, is HCC open? I want to talk to someone in person, or uh, some may be saying, you know what, I'd rather do a Zoom session. How do you meet with people that you that need uh, advising on their major or minor? What's, uh, what's the process right now? Well, we do currently, we are open, so come in. We miss you all. We miss your faces. Um, but we also do have our virtual lobby where we are assisting students who are not yet comfortable with coming in in person or just don't have the time to be able to make it out in person. So right now, currently the Southwest College, because I'm located at the West Loop campus. So if you all want to come by and get some advising, I'm here to help. Um, currently, our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Fridays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And for our Zoom lobbies, it's 8 to 630 at this moment. On are August 2nd, we should be returning back. Are you suggesting that people make an appointment with you first or can they just walk in? So appointments are always great. So making sure you're reaching out to your assigned academic advisors if you are current students. If you're not, just feel free to come in. We won't turn you away if you don't have an appointment. So just feel free to come in and just get, get help from us. And a lot of people say, well, you know, I like to go register for classes in person. Our campuses are open and we have a number of registration events that'll take place. But really, if you need help in registering, uh, people can come to the campuses now and do so in person. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. We do currently have our libraries and certain facilities open where students are able to use those computers. As I know, some may not have those um, access at home, so they're able to do so here and we are able to assist them with doing so. So as you heard, if you're looking to register online, hccs.edu slash now, you can register for any course there. Uh, and if you'd like to go in person, our campuses are open. In fact, we've got students on campuses, in-person classes have resumed at HCC and we've got a number of them kicking in in the fall. Mike, these courses in the fast track training program, I imagine these courses are ones that people will be meeting in person for most of them, since a lot of them are technical training. Are some of them offered virtually as well? Yeah, that's right. You know, we, we are offering uh, almost, actually all of them on, on campus at this point. There are some that are uh, offered virtually. Um, you know, obviously welding and pipe fitting, you're going to need to go to the lab and, and, and train up uh, just to get your, your skills. Uh, but there's others on there, child development, uh, you know, medical billing again, um, our logistics through the PepsiCo uh, scholars. Those are uh, programs that can be online as well. And I know you also have some IT offerings. We've only got a few minutes left, but maybe you can real quickly talk about um, IT and cybersecurity that's on the Fast Track Training Program. 
Yeah, I mean, if you if you watch the news, it seems like every day you're seeing a story about cybersecurity, some kind of hack happening. I mean, even our food, we can't get a good steak around here without the uh, cybersecurity hackers breaking in. So, you know, to that end, we're, we're training cybersecurity. It's on our fast track program. And you can start out with an entry level job and then progress up, which is back to what I was saying earlier, uh, through getting additional training and be a supervisor at the end. And these degrees or these certifications, they're stackable, meaning you can use them for credit in the future at HCC? Absolutely. So you start out with that fast track program, you might move into a level one certificate and into an associate degree. Uh, even after that, if you want to go to a bachelor's, that's available too. We've been talking about HCC's fast track training program. There are a number of courses you can explore by going to hccs.edu slash fast hyphen track. We've got one question coming in about being a CDL driver, looking to change career into logistics management. Are there grants avail available for this? Absolutely. In fact, if you go to the fast track training website, sign up for one of the courses, they'll have you fill out a FAFSA form. Those are courses and programs that are short term and they're paid for. In fact, HCC has a, no a, a lot of money right now to pay for students who are enrolled in the fall to help you with tuition costs, and other expenses as well. Dr. Michael Webster, our Associate Vice Chancellor of Instruction, Instructional Services, and Erica, we appreciate you being here as well on the show. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you, Todd. Thank you. And we wanna thank all of you for joining us today. Remember, hccs.edu fast slash fast hyphen track is the website to visit. Remember, it's important to enroll early. Get enrolled for the fall, we'll take care of the rest. Thanks for joining us today for Houston Community College. I'm Todd Duplantis. A great afternoon.